Hey, this is Eric and Tammy with Techno RV, and we love the Smoky Mountains, and uh, recently we got to stay at the River Plantation RV Resort in Sevierville, Tennessee, and we liked it so much we thought we'd make this uh, video here to kind of show you the park and actually recommend it to everyone. Yeah, sometimes it's hard when you go online and you're booking, you know, where you're going to stay for a trip and you really don't really know what you're getting yourself into. There may be a few pictures online of the resort, but we, we really wanted to give you a just a really in-depth view of what you get yourself into with River Plantation, which we know you will enjoy. Um, so you can kind of help make that decision. Yep, this park exceeded our expectations, so uh, let's take a look around. All right, here's what it looks like pulling into the park. And as you can see, it's a nice wide driveway, uh, something that I really like in a park. Uh, sometimes you pull into parks and the stress level can start to go up because you don't know what you're getting into, if there's going to be some, uh, some tight lanes. But it's nice and wide, and then they give you these nice three uh, wide lanes to pull into. This is a great place to disconnect tow vehicles and things like that. Put it in park, and uh, then you're off and running into the registration office. Yeah, I really liked the registration office here because you can tell right off that the landscaping and everything is really done nicely, but they really put some personal touches. You don't feel like you're just walking into like a gas station like some, you know, registration offices are. Uh, you can tell they've spent a lot of time. It was very clean. They offered all the things that you would need, but also some just additional things that really made you feel just kind of cozy. I absolutely loved the registration office. Yep, and then uh, over to the side of the registration office, you have the uh, the fitness room. Which we never used. No, nah, we didn't, but, well, we could have. We could have. <laughs> but uh, we didn't, but a lot of universal weights here, and, and they have the, uh, the treadmills and all that good stuff, and uh, the bathroom in this area, and they've got free weights, TVs, you know, everything you would need for a gym. Uh, and then outside, they have this... Guys, I guess it's a universal little fire pit, and there's cabins off to the side. And again, you can see the landscaping. They really put a lot of pride in it. It's really a pretty place. Yeah, so this is another view from the entrance. As you can see, they have a, a propane filling station, and that big building in the back is a conference center, great for RV rallies. And then they have a, a nice big swimming pool over here to the right. Yeah, it wasn't clean by the time because we went right at the beginning of the season. But you can see the pictures online. The pool's beautiful. They have like a fountain, a hot tub, all that kind of stuff. So it was really nice there. And then the uh, the conference center, uh, we were actually here for a rally. That's me actually doing a uh, seminar there, but it's, it's really big. And then this was just one side of the conference center right here. So uh, there were, we had a hundred or so RVers uh, in the conference room, and it's complete with uh, it's got kitchen and and pretty much everything you would need for uh, uh, audio visual. Uh, you know, just whatever you need for a nice RV rally. I would really recommend it for that. Yeah, the the rally that we were. Um participating in we're just amazed at that you had access to the commercial kitchen you could have events catered or you could actually cook yourself in there and it, it was just um, if you were thinking about a rally it was just a great addition covered air conditioned speakers you know everything they had even a band one night so it was really nice yeah, so here's a look at uh, some of the RV lots, and you can see they're uh, nice and wide and spacious. They have a, a concrete pad and the picnic tables. Uh, the pedestals had good power. I checked several of the pedestals, and they had really good power. And then a uh, full sewer, water pressure was great. And uh, again, you're not too close to your neighbors or anything. And in the background there, you can see the RV wash that they have. So if you want to get your RV uh, wash there, they have that. And then more cabins. Uh, you know, if you have uh, relatives that are coming down to stay in the area that uh, don't have RVs, they can stay in these cabins, or they're good for rallies as well. One of my favorite things is that uh, Little River runs right along the, the back side of the uh, RV park. So you have a lot of lots that are right there on the river. I, I like going for a walk over there. Our RV wasn't there, but it was super nice to be able to go and see the water. Thing I liked was that every lot has their own fire pit actually on the lot built in. So that was kind of a nice addition, you know, to have. Oh, they had a great pavilion here at the River Plantation. Uh, lots of picnic tables in this area. It's covered, uh, uh, grill pit. And uh, here's a big common area, this grass area over here. It's got a big, huge fire pit ring there. And uh, I know one night we probably had 30 people around that. Uh, yeah, if that, not more. Yeah, it was great. Everybody brought their own firewood. It was really cool. And it's very centrally located. So, you know, it's right in the kind of the center. So Yeah, you can see there's a stage at the front. About, we saw RV rallies doing presentations and things here. It was really nice. Yeah, and then right in the middle of the whole place, you got this little playground for kids, basketball court, and uh, uh, swing sets, all kinds of things here. 
Yeah, this is the main laundry and bathhouse. It also has the arcade attached to it, but this kind of has the largest um, bathhouse and laundry area. And I'm telling you, the bathhouse was really nice. It had several sinks, but the coolest thing I liked was the showers were very private. You not only had a large shower, but as you can see, they had, of course, the handicapped um, shower. But the other showers had this nice shower plus this dressing area, all very private with the doors. Um, I was really impressed. Very clean. Um, just really liked the bathhouse bathrooms, um, the main one. And as you can see, the arcade I mentioned that was attached, I mean, it's got a lot of windows, so you can kind of monitor the kids. But maybe while you're doing laundry, give the kids a few quarters, let them go play. Um, had a really neat arcade, even for adults. Doesn't have to be a kid. So that was another nice addition. Um, on other parts of the site, they had smaller bathhouses and laundry um, facilities. And again, still very clean, not as private as the main one, but very clean, very nice um, bathhouses. And the laundry area, um, again, very well lit, had, of course, the change and a good folding station, which I liked. And um, places just, it was, it was a great room. Yeah, and here's a uh, map of the site, and, uh, and you can get a copy of this map off riverplantationrv.com. And uh, you can see there's a lot of sites, whether you got 30 amp, 50 amp, uh, it's got you covered there. And uh, Mike Hale and their staff uh, there at River Plantation RV Resort really did a great job making everybody feel welcome, getting everybody checked in. Uh, they seem to be processing people through very quickly, and uh, they just did a really great job. And then here's a here's just a, what a magnificent view. This is the the park, kind of looking down into the park. So, you know, you 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 don't feel like you're like right in the middle of everything, but uh, you know, it's got a Sevierville address. But really, right when you come out and take a left, you're right in Pigeon Forge and kind of all the action. But then when you come back to your RV, you feel all secluded. And you got the mountain views and and uh, it's just it's really just spectacular. Yeah, this is actually a view when we spent the day at the Adventure Works. Um, I guess it was a zip line, yeah. climb, swing, whatever. Um, it's right on site, so if you have kids, it was really a lot of fun, um, something to do that was a little adventurous, but you're just right there by your site. So that's why, that's where we got this shot. We kind of spent the day up in the air and had a little bit of fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot, a lot to do around this park, for sure. So there you have it. It's uh, the River Plantation RV Resort right there in Sevierville, Tennessee. And uh, I got to tell you, it's not something we do very often, but I'm going give to give it the thumbs up and a recommendation from, from us. And we see a lot of parks. This is a great one. Yeah, reasonable, clean, full of the amenities you want, um, but still secluded. Absolutely loved it. We will go back. Absolutely.